It's that time of the semester again when finals are just around the corner. But even worse are those darn group projects. Communication courses don't only teach you how to successfully converse with others or give a good interview, but also the lessons on how to survive those long hours of group projects. Many people may not be aware of two key terms in the group setting of communication. These terms are known as nonverbal cues and groupthink. Don't you worry there. Through these examples of different emotions shown, you can see a person's feelings can be read through their own body language. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. Well, that's alright because I like the way it hurts. Just gonna stand there and Another major key term in the group communication process is groupthink, which you should avoid at all costs. If one person is calling all of the shots. Not everyone is contributing work, their opinions, or just being left out. Avoid certain voting systems since then a good idea can be outnumbered. Make sure all members understand what the project is and make sure to clear up any confusion. Also, allow and encourage all group members to have a say in all decisions. I want to be a billionaire so freaking bad Buy all of the things I never had I want to be on the cover of four. Many great scholars disagree on the many phases that a group grows through. They all agree that there are approximately five phases. No matter how many phases a group goes through, if everyone is educated about nonverbal cues and knows how to conquer groupthink, then your project will sail smoothly and you might just get an A. Shout, 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 shout.